Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today we have yet another Goodwill Bins thrift haul. We also have beans in the background and then my other dog Zoe is just a little further back. Uh, but they are gonna be hanging out with us today. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I have a lot of things to show. There's probably maybe 40 or so items here. Uh, everything here are things that I bought either this morning, so just a couple hours ago, um, or on Friday. So today's Sunday, so last Friday or today. Um, I don't normally go to the bins on Sunday, but I, for whatever reason, thought today was a good day to go, and it actually was a good day to go. So everything here is from the Goodwill bins. Uh, if you've never been to the Goodwill bins, it's basically like a bunch of like blue bins that you sort through that you pay by the pound. So my Goodwill bins, I pay a dollar and forty nine cents per pound, um, and for me that means that once I have everything home, I essentially divide the total that I spent by the amount of items. So I think everything here. Um, for the two trips, I think one of them was like a dollar and twenty cents per item. The other one was like a dollar and forty cents per item. So very low cost of goods, um, which I love. That's awesome. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with not the stuff I bought this morning. So I'm gonna move this one out the way. So this is the things that I bought Friday, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's start with a good one. So this stuff is all listed this stuff i've already listed um this one love this one so this is a madewell striped jumpsuit long striped so this one um i this <laughs> funny when i bought this one it actually had a ginormous highlighter stain on it it was right here on this front pocket it was a giant enormous stain and everybody was like picking it up and then throwing it back probably because of the stain um but i knew all i needed to do soak it in a little oxyclean and sure enough that stain came out super quickly um otherwise this thing is flawless um i'm hoping that i can get at least 50 bucks for this i saw some of them going as high as 75 so super fun pickup super excited about this guy Next up, this was more of a style pickup. Uh, the brand is called Staccato. There it is, Staccato. Um, and this is kind of like a cow print, I would say it's a cow print, uh, cardigan. And it's a really nice sort of heavy, heavy knit. It's the back. This is fun. I love cow print things. I think cow print is definitely kind of like in style right now. So this one was really fun. This is a Johnny was embroidered, I believe linen. I think it's 100% linen. Yes, 100% linen embroidered shorts. And they have a waist tie and they're a size medium. So super fun. I think I have these up for, I think 45 right now. I think comps were just around there, 45 to like 60. Uh, next, we have a pair of airy green. They're kind of, I almost want to say they're like cargo pant joggers. That's kind of what they remind me of, but they have sort of this like paper bag waist with a tie. They have an elastic cuff, ankle cuff, is that what that's called? Pockets, super fun, army green. Love that. These were actually selling for more than I thought they would. I think uh, comps were right around $35 to $40, which I thought was a little bit high for Aerie, but I'll take it. Next, ooh, this was fun. So Lucky Brand Linen Blend Size Large. I believe this is, this is a men's shirt. I remember which way the buttons go. Yeah, I think that's a men's shirt. But it's like a red button-down linen blend shirt. And this one, this is not something I'm expecting too much out of, but you know, Lucky Brand linen, you really can't go wrong with any of those. Uh, next, this was fun. This is a um, sort of like a vintage, is it a jacket? I don't even know if I would say it's a jacket. It kind of is a jacket, um, but it's got these buttons. Now this one is actually missing two of the buttons on the front, uh, but I thought it was just so cool and original that I just had to pick it up. It has all these different 
prints. It has embroidery. It has all this little fringe on it. Such a cool piece. Ooh, okay, so this one, uh, I've actually sold something just like this in the past. Um, it's a 1995 um, cotton extra large uh, men's boxers these were pretty cool they're the warner bros tasmanian devil looney tunes style these were going i saw some of them selling upwards of like 40 45 dollars because it is 1995 vintage there's definitely a market out there so went ahead and picked that one up uh this one i would say that this one was probably one of my favorite finds of that haul or of that goodwill bins trip um it is a juicy couture velvet tracksuit zip up jacket and this is in like excellent condition and i think the size so this is a size extra extra large i think it's a very like fitted extra extra large because like it would fit me and I am not an extra extra large so I don't know it's definitely not like a juniors but it's also like more of a fitted right more fitted but it's like this red velvet it's got this super cool oops juicy couture um bedazzling I don't know what that's called bedazzle <laughs> um, and it's in really excellent condition there's the the decal is looks perfect um it's just so soft and I saw I think um it does have a matching pant to it which I did look for for a long time fortunately could not find it um but I think someone had sold the shirt, sorry, the shirt, the jacket, and the pants for I think about $150. Um, so if I could get like 50, 60 bucks just for this, I would be really happy with that. All right, so this next one, this one's also a really fun piece. Um, I actually saw this one like a couple bins over. I saw like the vibrant print and I was like, I'm gonna run over there and grab it. And I'm so glad that I did. Uh, it is an anthropology, Mave, it's not too bright. Anthropology Mave, super fuzzy. I don't even know what kind of print I would. It's like a psychedelic. Um, I don't even know. I don't know what kind of print that is, but it's super fuzzy as well. When I first saw it, I kind of thought like you can see all this stuff. I honestly thought that this was a little bit more worn. I even contemplated leaving it because I thought it looked like just too fuzzy. Um, and then I started looking at, I was looking up stock photos, other listings. It looks like all of them look like this fuzzy, like this almost like worn. Um, so I'm thinking that they were really created to be like super fuzzy like this. So um, I did note it in the listing, like, hey, this is a very fuzzy jacket, but obviously from the stock photos, it kind of already is fuzzy. So we'll see. I'm not really sure if it was made like this or if it is a little bit worn, but regardless, I mean, the tag looks in excellent condition. Oh no, it's a little bit bright. Hello. Yeah. Tag looks excellent condition. Um, I think I said, say size small. Yeah. Size small. Super fun. I think, I don't remember how much I have this one listed for, but I've only had it listed for maybe 24 hours and it's got like six or seven micros on it already. So this one hopefully will sell soon. So this next one, um, so what I've actually started doing at my Goodwill bins is um, if your bins is like mine, they'll have like rows of clothing and then rows of hard goods. Normally, like I don't go into the hard goods. I don't really like when they do like a release of a hard good row, I just kind of like stay with the clothing. Um, but I've actually started kind of skimming through the hard goods whenever they release them because I'm finding that a lot of there's there seems to be a lot of clothing resellers or people that are looking specifically for clothing and people that are looking specifically for hard goods. So I've I've noticed if I start actually looking in the hard goods section, a lot of times there is clothing in there, but the hard goods people don't care about the clothing. So I do actually find really good pieces mixed in with the hard goods. Does that make, does that, that's like, yeah. Basically on this time I found a Madewell, um, I think it's a sarong. I think that's what it's called. It is... So it's, uh, it's a cotton and linen blend. It's like a scarf sarong. Um, I was looking in stock photos for this. It seemed like they were using them, like, like they were modeling them as scarves, as like waist ties, as like swim cover-ups. 
um, but it's actually really cute. It's like um, a very sheer sort of yellow, mustard yellow. It's got this little like, I don't want to say it's like cheetah, but it, it kind of looks like that sort of print, but very nice. I'm not expecting this one to go for too much, but then again, it did retail for quite a bit. Um, and it's also in like flawless condition. So it looks like this was really hardly ever used at all. So, yeah. This one, I was actually really excited to find this one. Um, I'm not sure. I know they're in Texas. I don't know if they're anywhere else around the country, uh, but we have what's called, it's called a Bucky's. Uh, it's basically like a ginormous, like the biggest gas station you've ever seen. Like that is a Bucky's. Um, it has all sorts of like apparel and food and like the best restrooms. They're like the ultimate like road trip stop you have to stop at Bucky's if you're going on a road trip in Texas uh, so I found a Bucky's uh, sweater they have a lot of clothing there a lot of people really love their clothing I see so many people wearing Bucky's stuff all the time um, but this is like a I think it's called a buccal buccal boucle that doesn't sound right a knit it's kind of like a popcorny textured knit Bucky's on the front long sleeve just a nice basic sweater um, I'm thinking that this one could probably go from anywhere from 28 to 32 just because um, it's like more of a substantial piece and not just like a regular sweater, you know. Uh, this one is fun. This is a uh, westbound 100% linen floral. Is it button all the way down? Yeah, button front. It's a little bit bright for the camera. And it's almost like, I think I, when I listed this, I think I put like watercolor in there because it's such like a nice, like light color. It's very, very springtime. We're kind of moving into the wrong season for this one, but um, being 100% linen and nice, pretty floral colors, I definitely wanted to go ahead and pick this one up. Okay, we're almost there. All right, this one, uh, this is an Umji floral embroidered like shirt dress, long sleeve shirt dress. Um, I don't always pick up MG. Um, I have noticed like with MG things, like I'll pick it up and it'll either get like a ton of likes and then sell or like nobody will like it. Um, but this one I thought was pretty cool. It's got really nice embroidery on the front, long sleeves, it's got pockets. I think, I mean, this is definitely something that I would wear. I really like things like this, so cute. Not too bad. I think this one's also a size large. If it was like an extra small or small, I might have actually left it behind. But larges, extra larges, love those sizes. Ooh, and these ones. So this was also something that a lot of people were passing up in the bins. And I kind of understand why, but then again, I don't really understand why. Um, they are a pair of page jeans, size 29. And they are, I think there's a style name in here. Is there? Yeah, so they're the uh, Verdugo Ultra Skinny. Um, dark wash jeans, but they have this teal um, diamond. Yeah, sorry. They have like a really, um, it's a pretty, it's a teal diamond print on them. And that's probably why people were leaving them behind. It's probably the same thing when it comes to like uh, colored denim. Not a lot of people wear colored denim. Um, I found as well that a lot of colored denim send, tends to sit for me for a long time. So honestly, I am expecting these to sit for a little bit, but I do think that they will sell. And especially being from the bins, you know, I paid a dollar for them. So I'll pick it up. You know, it page denim, like it's a good brand. So. Okay, the first bag is almost done. We have one more item. All right, the last thing in this first bag is this Jelly Cat, what is it called? Uh, I am Coco Bear, Jelly Cat Coco Bear. He's still got his little tag on him. Super cute, excellent condition. Um, I saw these going for, oh gosh, I saw like anywhere from like third, mid 30s into I think mid 40s. This is the smaller size. I think there was two sizes of this bear when I was looking. Um, this is the smaller ones. I don't think it goes for quite as much, but new with tags, Jelly Cat, paid a dollar for it, maybe just a dollar fifty, maybe. Um, so cute. I'll get him listed. And I think that is it for the first bag. So now we're going to move on to everything that I purchased this morning at the bins. All right. Okay. So moving into the first 
of what I found today. Um, I found one pair of shoes. I don't love picking up shoes. You know, I really don't. I don't know. I just don't. I'm not like a big shoe lover. Um, but I did find these shoes, which I thought were really nice. Uh, the brand is Soft with two Fs. Um, and they are these cork heels. And they, honestly, these guys look brand new. I don't think there's, there's no wear on these at all. Size nine, uh, leather uppers. They're kind of like a cute color block, chunky heel. Um, I saw very mixed comps on these. I saw anywhere from like 25 to like 45. Um, but I saw the retail was like $120 or something crazy. So we will definitely be uh, doing some more research on those to see what they are really worth. So this next one was something that I just kind of saw and I was like, yeah, I'll pick it up. It's, you know, super light. Um, it is a, it's called Lost Horizons Handmade in Nepal, 100% wool. And I think, I think they're still attached. I think, I thought they were like arm cuffs, but I think they're actually like, when you wear boots, I think they're like the, sometimes people like wear these like covers that go over their legs, but like also go over the boots. I'm thinking that's what they are, but I need to do some more research. I'm not really sure what else they would be, um, but 100% wool handmade in Nepal. This thread is just holding the two pieces together. Um, it's got tags on it. Uh, the tag talks about promoting fair trade in Nepal. It says who it was made by. Um, yeah, I thought it was just a very um, kind of like artisanal piece, something a little bit different for my closet. So something to try out. Cute. Um, this one, okay, so this one's definitely not going to sell for that much, but is a Nua Tags Wild Fable knit skirt. This one actually only retailed for $20. So am I really going to, am I, maybe I'll only make $12 from it. Um, but you know, Nua Tags knit, still very cute. It's nice colors as well. So yeah, if it wasn't Nua Tags, I definitely would not have picked this one up, but can't go wrong with something like that. Oh, this one was fun. So this is a pair of Madewell, the perfect vintage jean. There we go. And this one actually has a Goodwill tag on it. So at one point they tried to sell these in Goodwill stores. They wanted $8.99 for it. Um, so this, this one is, although it is a very good jean, it is a size 24 petite. So a very small size and a petite size. So if this was in a regular thrift store, even if it was like $5, I probably would not have picked it up just because it is such um, a small and petite size. But at the bins, I will always pick up things like made well if it's in good condition. But yeah, and especially like the vintage style, the vintage style jeans. Um, but these guys look great. They look in excellent condition, hardly any wear to them at all. So I was happy to pick these up. So next is, uh, this is actually from Loft. This was more of a style pickup rather than brand. Although I do sometimes pick up Loft, uh, but it really has to be a good style. Um, and this is, I think it's like a tweed fabric. It is a skirt, but it's a, like a faux wrap skirt. So it's got the tie, yeah, uh, size medium, kind of like a rainbow ponte, not ponte knit. What did I say earlier? Tweed. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> Tweed. So super cute. I like that one. Ooh. Okay. I was so excited. You guys, I almost didn't go to the bins today. I don't normally go to the bins on Sunday, but for whatever reason, something was telling me to go and here it is. Um, it's a new with tags anthropology. Hello. Anthropology new with tags. Uh, the, the brand is actually Pilcro. It is this, I would say it is like a button down cardigan. I don't really know how to explain this one, but it's got this really fun embroidery on here. Button down. Yeah, I mean, new with tags, anthropology. Um, even if it isn't, you know, I didn't even look up the style. I didn't look up anything about this piece. New with tags, anthropology. I will always pick it up from the bins um even if it's a bad style because it's like a dollar like you you can't go wrong sometimes even if it's like 
yeah and that's that's definitely what i love about the bins is that you know sometimes you find something and i don't, don't even have to look it up i'm just like you know what even if it sells for 15 bucks like i'm making my money back plus a lot so yeah uh next up cloth and stone this one is a little bit more worn could have been a bad buy but we're gonna steam it and see how it looks after it's steamed um, but it's kind of this uh, sleeveless shirt dress from Cloth and Stone. There we go. And it's got pockets. It's sort of like this greenish gray color. I think it was actually, is it tinsel? Yeah, 100% tinsel Lyocell. Next is this pair of Zara shorts. I don't think there was a style name in here or at least not one written on here, but super cute pair of shorts, high waist, uh, raw hem. It's got a button fly. So these were nice. I think they're a size six. So super cute, more of like a bread and butter pair of shorts. These are also in really excellent condition. So happy with those. And we're moving on to our last bag. So let me rearrange everything here. We have one more bag. I don't even remember what this is. Oh, okay. So this one is definitely something that I only picked up uh, similar to the Wild Fable one. This is Knox Rose. I only picked this up because it is new with tags and a plus size. If it was a size extra small, small probably would not have picked it up. But it's an extra, extra large. Uh, definitely a need of the steam, but a paper bag, kind of tie waist pants they're almost like um like a chambray material is that right chambray sounds right but yeah new with tags these guys uh retailed for hello uh 35 dollars so i'll probably put it on for anywhere probably from 25 dollars maybe 25 28 um and we'll see uh, but i'll probably take an offer as low as 20 on these Okay, next up, so this is a, if I can find the front, uh, J. Jill size small, although I do think it is kind of a large size small. Um, it is this green floral kind of like shift dress. It has pockets. Um, it is sleeveless, but J. Jill is very much like hit or miss for me. I've had some J. Jill pieces sell like same day. I've had pieces sit for months. Um, we're definitely going to have to see about this piece, but it's a very nice, um, like a thicker material. And I think that the fabric is nice and the print is nice. So no guarantees that this one will sell very quickly, but it's a cute piece. Um, next. Okay. So this, I got really excited. I picked this one up. I thought it was Johnny Wes, but it's not. Uh, it's actually a boutique brand. I see a lot of it here in Texas. I'm not really sure if it's other places. Um, it's called Savannah Jane. I do own a few pieces like this one, but it's a really fun embroidered. And it's funny because this embroidery almost looks like backwards. I mean, there's the back of it though, but embroidered dress. It's got these cute, um, almost like bell sleeves, cheetah print. That's got a lot going for it. I thought actually, you know what? This is not a dress. This is more of like a tunic top. It's not quite a dress, a little shorter than a dress, but super cute piece. Okay, so speaking of Johnny Was, this is the next piece. It was literally the very first piece that I pulled out of the bin this morning, and that is a Johnny Was cardigan. So this piece, it is long, it is floral, it's got all the embroidery on here. Um, so this piece, I think it is silk, uh, but I was kind of looking it over very carefully and I did notice that it has quite a few relatively faint, but uh, there are some stains on here. So I am going to do what I can to try and stain treat it. Um, I don't normally pick up things that um, are stained or need a lot of work, um, but a Johnny Wes piece like this, I will definitely do what I can to make it perfectly uh, kind of beautiful and sellable. So we're going to do some experimenting with this guy. Uh, hopefully it turns out okay. You know, I have sold uh, flawed Johnny Wes pieces before, uh, but they definitely don't sell um, as like a non-flawed 
piece of wood. Okay, moving on. This was definitely an interesting find. I think it's from, it's from 2002. So technically vintage if I wanted to like do that, but it is a 100% leather Banana Republic. It's, I want to say it's a trench coat, but it doesn't have a belt or doesn't have anywhere to like put a belt on. So is it a trench coat or is it just a long coat? But leather, it's actually like a really soft, not a super thick, heavy leather, a very soft leather, but just this black long coat. And I think it's on the back. I saw a few people or I saw somebody actually put, pick this up and put it back because there was, there was a little mark. I think I got rid of it on the back. It had a couple like light kind of scuffs on it. Um, but honestly, I just took a little paper towel and like, and it, they came away so easily. So I don't really know. So fun, 100% uh, leather, black jacket. I believe it's a women's jacket. It's on, I need to remember what side women's buttons are on. I think it's on this side. That sounds right. But super cool. It's got like a slit at the bottom for like extra movement. Okay, our next piece, this was definitely more of an experiment pickup. Um, Adidas size extra large. It is a, I think it's a soccer, a soccer um, jersey. Doesn't look like a traditional soccer jersey, but when I looked it up, they were advertising it as I think like a goalkeeper's jersey. I think that's what it was. But, and this guy was in excellent condition. Fun, bright colors. So, I, li I like this one. And next, so this was something, um, I'm probably not expecting too much from this one, but it's a Lucky Brand size large. Um, it's kind of like, is it waffle knit? Waffle knit thermal uh, sleep shirt long sleeve. And this one was also in excellent condition. I thought there was a bottom that goes with this, um, but I couldn't find it anywhere in the bin. But yeah, I think it would sell just by itself, especially because we're moving into the right season. It's definitely like thermal pajama weather we're moving in. Next up. Oh, okay. So this was something that I probably wouldn't have picked up a couple months ago, but um, Chico's has actually been selling really well for me. I feel like there's like a Chico's surge going on right now. Uh, so this is an Easy Wear by Chico's size two. Um, it's kind of like an open front cardigan. It has this really nice, I would almost say, is it paisley, black and white, like paisley bottom on here. This is a fun piece. I'm happy with this piece. And it's very warm as well. I don't think, it's not like wool or anything. Yeah, it's a cotton rayon mix. So it doesn't say what you, when it's from, but still really great. Feels really nice. Feels like nice and heavy. So I'm happy with this guy. Next. Oh, so this is something I've never actually sold anything from this brand. It's a new tags from Nasty Gal. It's called their oversized slouchy jumper dress in a size large. Definitely needs a lint roll, <laughs> but it's just like this giant black oversized like slouchy sweater dress. So I didn't really look up comps for this guy um, just because it was new with tags and I know there's a big following for Nasty Gal. So I went ahead and just picked this guy up. Definitely gonna have to experiment about that one. Next, oh, this was fun. So this is a Pendleton 100% pure virgin wool. Here is the tag, Pendleton wool. It is a sweater. I think it's like a, it's like a long, almost like a coat slash like sweater. And it's got um, elbow patches. I think it's a size extra, extra large. So great size. We are almost there. Last few pieces. Um, this one, this is probably the, something that is more of like, um, I'm just gonna get a few bucks for it, maybe $15, $20. Um, but it is a Madewell red striped long sleeve. Um, if you can tell, it's sort of like faded red on the outside and then like a vibrant red on the inside. And I was looking up stock photos and it looks like they actually styled it where you like roll the cuffs up like this, like that. And then 
that was how they had styled it. Uh, so there was a few I think that had sold for like $20, $25. So it's in excellent condition. So I went ahead and picked it up. And the very last item, I was actually really kind of excited about this one. Um, it's not like a super great brand or anything crazy. Um, it's Altered State, kind of like a boutique brand here in Texas. This um, star sweater. <laughs> um, it's got like these balloon sleeves and this one is also in excellent condition. It's actually a very nice, I don't know how to explain this fabric. It's like thick, but it's, I don't know, it's like soft and like velvety almost. Very strange. Uh, the inside is also really cute colors. At first I thought it was like reversible, but I don't think it actually is reversible. I think it's just because it's like faint colors on the outside. So they're darker colors on the inside. That's what I'm thinking. Um, but super cute. I feel like I could get anywhere from like 28 to 32 for this guy, but um, we'll definitely have to do some more research to figure that one out. And I think, I think that is the end. That looks like everything. All right, so that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys like it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like uh, kind of what I'm doing or you wanna see more of what I'm doing. Um, I have lots of other videos. I recently opened up a thread up box. So I will link that one. I think it's this side. Um, I will link that one there. I've also done a room tour of my reselling room. If you're interested in that, I will also link that one up in the top and down in the description box below. Um, as always, if you have any questions, please be sure to let me know. And if you have any video ideas, that would also be great. Leave those in the comments below. But otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Bye. My love language is your time and attention.